Okay, so this is the Rbox um, Android Mini PC, the next uh, generation of these small um, pluggable Android units which go into TVs to add um, Android smarts to them. Um, the main difference between this and the one we reviewed before is that this, of course, is a dual core um, 1.2 megahertz gigahertz processor with a camera embedded that little point there you see is a camera apart from that it has the usual ports micro SD um, micro USB and microphone um, and a reset button on this end has OTG USB so you can plug in external um, peripherals and the HDMI and an AV out there which is unusual uh, and uh, a standard this is unusual in that it's a uh, it's actually a, a, a male HDMI um, and that's it quite slim, slim looking it managed to squeeze it all into a small area comes also with a um, extension adapter now we'll just go and plug it into the TV and see how it works Okay, so let's get this plugged in and ready to go. First things first, put in a put the HDMI into the expander. This is a little Bluetooth dongle for the keyboard and trackpad. And then first thing you'll notice is it's quite a, a dangler. And the second thing is the camera is facing the wall, which is not going really to be that great for any other kind of use. But well, the camera is a whole new story on its own, um, which we'll look at in a second. But that's the basic configuration. Um, it does actually also plug straight in like that. Um, and the camera just sticks out, if you can see that in the corner there. But... It's not elegant at all. It kind of works. Right, so here we see it booting up. Trying to get itself going. First thing you notice is it's quicker. It's a much quicker boot up than the, um, the previous, previous versions. Um, and in fact, that's the watchword of the whole thing. It's a much faster operating um, unit as you expect from dual core. Look at... Uh, just a simple web browsing, you can see that it's a lot faster. Uh, double click brings the screen closer to you, it magnifies the screen. In and out. trackpad to uh, navigate with is not ideal. Performance is certainly good enough for uh, video. Um, it accesses the store perfectly, again as you can see, so there's no problem with using it to load your favourite apps or games. Um, and it has a nice media player, eHome Media Center built into it. Um, which is handy so you can set it up to stream media across your home if you need to. The camera is something of a bit of a, a weird one because it doesn't seem to work with Skype or with any of the other um, programs. So what you're basically left with is something which is not very useful. 
it's pretty pathetic in fact we've tried the, uh, loading Skype in and all that happens is it crashes same with Tango and the other video chat applications we've tried it doesn't seem to, to like it at all so the camera is kind of redundant um, even if you take into account the fact that it's kind of difficult to set it up um, and get it so it's facing you even if you had a, a, a video chat capability with it there's no clamp you just have to slot it straight in or run it on that strange cable which dangles which doesn't really work uh, but apart from that it's a very um, peppy <laughs> if that's a good word a very fast operating um, little device the, the extra uh, horsepower definitely does make all the difference with these little Android dongles. Um, it be interesting to see what happens when you get to, to um, something like quad core, uh, at which point you know you'll get a, a, a TV which will be faster than your laptop probably. This is one of the loveliest little girls I've ever met. BBC, I've got to be careful, we'll make sure they get sued. And that's it, that's the Arbox um, Android dongle. Uh, nice. Well, shame about the camera, one hopes that's a bug in the hardware and that it'll get fixed and that it will work with Skype and with other video chat because at the moment there's not a lot of point of having a camera at all.